Hello once again, Internet. It's me, Carmen, coming right back at you. I figured it's kind of a boring day out today, snowy, stuck inside. I'd try something different. I've done this before, but it's been a while. I'm going to install Windows 2000, a virtual machine, sort of a retro throwback. Let's see how it goes. Get right into it. Windows 2000 Destroyer. Why not? Well, let's bump up the memory. Let's just throw... A good 512 at it and see how it goes 512 that should be enough for Windows 2000 definitely create new virtual hard disk I hope 5 gigabytes is enough Windows 2000 isn't that big that probably won't be enough to store much but hey I'm just messing around today taking it easy The Windows 2000 Destroyer. Ha ha ha. How long does it take to create a storage unit? For anyone who doesn't know, Windows 2000 is basically the NT based operating system that came before Windows XP. Mostly per for professional use, unlike how Windows XP is pretty much meant as an all around solution. When Windows 2000 was out, they sold Windows ME, which was Windows 9X based. Let's start. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's what I was thinking it would ask me for a virtual optical disk file. Let's select that now. There we go, Windows 2000. I don't know if I've ever actually had a real Windows 2000 machine before. I remember my first computer running Windows 95, and at some point we had an HP computer that was running Windows XP for a few years, but I don't think we ever had any Windows 2000 machines. Oh, and we had a Windows 98 computer as well at home when I was little. Of course, I use a Mac myself now, but it's kind of night interesting to mess around with Windows 2000 and mess around with these older operating systems in general. I really haven't done anything like this in a while. And I haven't even looked up anything about the drivers or anything like that for VirtualBox. Usually VirtualBox makes it pretty easy, but we'll see how it goes. I don't know. Windows 2000 setup. We're getting into the fun. Please wait while setup detects and installs devices such as your keyboard and mouse? Wow, man, this is pretty revolutionary. Hold up. We gotta wait for it to install that keyboard and mouse, guys. Am I right? For its time, Windows 2000 was a pretty decent operating system, being based on the Windows NT kernel. It really put it a step above when it comes to stability over to Windows 9X based operating systems like Windows 98, Windows Me. Or Windows ME, I can't remember which. Oh, that was interesting. But it's just sort of, I think, a staple in people's minds. People think of Windows XP and Windows 2000 as being these reliable, perfect operating systems. And Windows XP actually was pretty reliable. I can't really testify to Windows 2000. I've used it some, but I haven't like used it on a regular basis, really. So I can't really speak for that. I know Windows XP was a very stable operating system, and Windows XP in many ways is similar to Windows 2000, but in other ways it's very different. Because Windows 2000 was basically meant for the professional environment, while Windows XP, they had a Windows XP professional, Windows XP, well they had Windows Server 2003, which was sort of like XP, but it was a server edition. They had Windows XP Home, basically, Windows XP was more of a multi-purpose operating system, and Windows 2000 Pretty much was too, but Windows 2000 was aimed more towards the business market. This isn't really as much of a how. <coughs> this isn't really as much of a how-to as it is just installing the operating system, messing around, and really just 
enjoying it, taking it easy. So I just want to put that out there now, make that disclaimer. Regional settings. Okay, well, it's set to English, United States. Jack Sparrow. Why not? I've now entered the product key. Now to set up my administrator account. We already got the time. That's pretty much on it, other than the fact that we are in Eastern Time. But it knows what time it is. Also use typical settings. Notice computer. Notice computer is not on network or network without domain. Or it's messing around. Install start menu items. Oh, there we go. If there's a CD in your drive, remove it. Well, we can remove the disk from the virtual drive. Let's restart the computer, see what happens. Did we install Windows 2000 successfully? That was a pretty pain-free install, honestly. It didn't seem like they make Windows 2000 that hard to, to install at all. Very simple, slimlined installation process. I can't even say the same for operating systems like Windows XP. Like, Windows XP isn't even that hard to install either. I guess it just likes to hold your hand a lot more. Windows 2000 is pretty much like, okay, let's get down to business. This is what we need to do, yo. Preparing network connections. We don't need that. Bye-bye. All right, let's look around and see what there is to do in Windows 2000. We can make, like, a masterpiece, dog. We got paint installed, yo. I know what we can make. Paint didn't really change much from Windows 2000 XP, I guess. At all. Illuminati. Nah, this is just silliness. I'm just messing around. I can adjust that screen resolution some. So we get more real estate. Only 16 colors. I guess I need to install some drivers. Probably. Yes. Okay, so. Let me see if I can install the virtual box drivers the guest editions that might make it a little nicer okay program virtual box not available in windows 2000 but let's see maybe this will make the sound drivers the sound drivers what am i saying yes i want to continue yes maybe it'll make the video enhanced and make it work a little nicer yes I guess I'll reboot now. Windows is shutting down. Let's boot into the destroyer. Okay, that's a little nicer looking. Not really that there's much of a difference at this point, but now I have at least true color, 32-bit. We can up that screen real estate. Guess to 
one or two four by seven sixty eight that works well for virtual machine. Let's see what's happening on the internet. I want to sign up for a new internet account. I want to connect to my local area network. Manual, yeah, automatic. No, I don't want to set up an internet email account. Oh wait, we got msn.com already here. Let's try some other websites. I don't even, there we go, we got Fancy Show Tech. We got everything you need all about technology. And my website barely even works right on here. Everything's all kind of out of place. But what version of Internet Explorer is this that came with Windows? What Internet Explorer 5? This isn't even Internet Explorer 6. Okay. No wonder it doesn't know how to render. My website is slightly... I don't know if this is better because you still can't really read the text because it doesn't recognize the background overlay. Let's try YouTube just for kicks and giggles. This page cannot be displayed. Let's try it. I wonder if Google Chrome will install under Windows 2000. That'd be funny. It's miraculously, Google's website kind of works, except there's probably supposed to be something here that's not showing. Windows 2000. You need that Windows 2000 Service Pack 4, which I am way too lazy to install right now. We can try messing around a little more in Windows 2000, see what there is to see. Windows 2000, you have your usual accessories, games, Minesweeper, Pinball, Solitaire, FreeCell. I guess in Windows 2000, they didn't have the internet reversey. I spent hours playing that back on Windows XP when I had my XP machine up and running. Entertainment, CD player, sound recorder, Windows Media Player, volume control, hyperterminal, net meeting. I remember net meeting. Pretty much sort of like remote desktop connection, network and dial up phone dialer, on screen keyboard, utility manager, narrator, magnifier, accessibility wizard. This is pretty much a bare bones machine right now. We can check out the control panel. We'll check out phone and modem options. What the heck? Oh, wait, I don't have a modem connected. Internet options? Default homepage, MSN. Nice. Land settings. Not really much to mess around with there. We can see what the specs of our system are under my computer. Intel Core i7. You don't see many Windows 2000 computers running a Core i7 with 512 megabytes of RAM. Device manager. Not really any point of looking at this. I'm just sort of messing and gomming. It's a virtual machine, so what do you expect? There's nothing really special. Local disk C. WinNT. Not much to really be seen here that's out of the ordinary. You have the default Windows sort of backgrounds and graphics that are stored here. Why don't we give our desktop a little of a festive look? You have the Chateau. You don't have that in Windows XP. Fall Memories. I gotta say, Windows 2000 does have some nice backgrounds built in. Not gonna lie. That's not what I wanted to do. It always go for the default Windows 2000 background. Flying high in the clouds, solar eclipse, snow trees. Very elegant Windows 2000. Santa Fe Stucco. I wonder if it has any from Windows XP. Probably. I mean, there's a couple of these I recognize from Windows XP. Most of these look like they're unique, especially the photo ones. Let's just, uh, we'll go for the Windows 2000 background. Why not? Maybe I'll try installing Mozilla. I remember looking up some stuff about this and try installing Mozilla. I meant Firefox. I tried looking up some stuff about this before and I got the impression that you really can't install much in Windows 2000 without patching it. But we can try to. Maybe we can install an older version. I 
least something that will kind of render web pages. I'm sort of curious to see if Flash or anything will work under Windows 2000, but I may or may not mess around with that today. Okay, let's get this to download. I want to... Oh, we can do that. Yes, I want to install... Bye bye, Internet Explorer. Don't import. What is there to import, anyways? Let's see. Will this render my web page any better? This is still an older version, but that looks much nicer. That's pretty much how it's supposed to look, so close enough. Fancy Show Tech. Let's try YouTube for kicks and giggles. This browser is deprecated, but it should still work. There we go. We could try playing some video. Probably won't work under here unless it uses HTML5. I can't remember if this version, this version of Firefox probably supports HTML5. Kind of. I can't really control the video, but I see it playing and I can hear it. There we go. I'm going to go mess around with Windows 2000 some more. Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys liked this pretty tedious Windows 2000 installation video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I hope all of you have a good one, and peace out, guys.